there's a lighter. Open the door. I need to borrow your lighter. Quit being a stupid asshole and open the door! Please? Doors fucking lock. Fuck. My God, is it Christmas? <laughs> Okay, ma'am? Not okay. Not okay. Not not okay.
Anybody home? It's Jake. You guys playing hooky today? We better not be doing it because I'm coming in, okay? Meg! Meg! Oh, thank God. Smoke some bad shit, and I'm gonna wake up soon. Wake up, Jake. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up! You are awake. Sorry, but you're awake. Trust me. Otherwise, you'd be like them. I don't understand. What am I supposed to do? Pete's me. Just don't fall asleep. Okay. 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 Quiet. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. I'm like being stuck in fucking outer space. Now you're just stalling. Come on, this was your idea. Now you gotta pay the price. Don't be a pussy. It's just that I don't really like needles. You know that. Come on. Don't... Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, you said you cut to three. I would have done that, you. Fuck! See, it hurts, doesn't it, you little bastard? <laughs> Oh, okay, oh, come on, oh, come on, we're just wasting time. Let's go, 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 go!
being stabbed in the heart for, Sam. <laughs> this was one of them. The other was Brandy Conroy in the eighth grade. She liked to stab in the back, bitch. I'm sure she had her reasons. Uh, Lily, what are you doing in the hot tub? What? We can't relax, too? Get out! What are you yelling for? You guys are in the pool. Your body temperature's gonna raise, and when it drops back down, it won't be good. It'll be bad. Understand? Get out. Get out! Come on, guys, we're getting out too. Fine. Was that about not raising your body temperature? They were naked. Yeah, you noticed that too, huh? Come on, let's go. I can already feel the crash coming on. Hello? Earth to every 13-year-old. Every 13-year-old is pervy? It's kind of our thing. So, uh, you like Rachel? Yeah. She's the best of the uh, non-dead girls we know, I guess. Cool. Uh, don't have sex with her. <laughs> Are you calling dibs? Orgasms really smell a tonin. It's a hormone and a sedative. <sighs> Where do you come up with all this shit? I'm a pervy 13-year-old with the ADHD. An internet. Well, you don't have to worry. Happened to hold the world record and fall asleep after sex, so you can relax. Just looking out for you. Yeah, it goes both ways. Don't go jerking off in a corner and getting yourself killed. I was always warned about the dangers of masturbation. <laughs> you and me both, kid. Hey, Jake? Yeah? You think I'll ever live long enough to have sex? That is the best life goal that I've ever heard. And I am going to ensure that you see it through. Or die trying. <sighs> so, uh, what about you? Like I said, I've already had plenty of bad sex. No. Why are you still awake? I don't know. It just seems better than the alternative. Jim, I'm not sure I ever told you, but I'm glad you came into my life. You ain't your friend, Ridlin. I think I wasted all those years with Crystal when this shit was legal. people are left in China. More than here. They were awake when it started, right? 3 a.m. here is what, five or six in the evening there? We didn't even have a chance. Here, they just wiped us out like fucking ninjas. Not all of us. You know, you still haven't told me how you actually survived it. You know who had it really good? Europe. It was morning there. You'd be coming off a full night's sleep. Nice, nice head start. Except those lazy bastards who hit the snooze button. <laughs> no, it is, it is, it is weird. No, no. Are they fighting? It's no. Lily again. Okay. What? It's very weird. No, you should know that. No! No, no, no! What? What do you want me to do? And that fucking goddamn fiddle's driving me nuts! Stop! I'll take care of her. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go take a leak. Full disclosure, I peed in the pool. It's probably half pissed by now, to be honest. I pitched in two. Just wish you didn't feel like being stabbed in the bladder every time you take a piss. <sighs> These diuretics are killing me. You don't even know what that word means. It means things that make you piss. <sighs> piss like a diabetic camel. <laughs> I used to have this girl down here. Panama City without This guy's you know, still at it. Call it Fiesta, Siesta. I got a new theory. Yeah? Shoot. Radioactive space probe. Passes by before anyone sees it, affects the atmosphere of the entire planet. We breathe it in, poof. Simultaneous altered brain states. That is the plot of Night of the Living Dead. It's also incredibly dumb, especially for someone who uses words like diuretics. It's a good movie. It's a classic. Look, who gives a shit what this is? It just is. We just gotta survive it. That's what we gotta do. We become sharks. What? It's sharks. They don't sleep, you know? Yeah, exactly. We're an adaptable species. We survived the comet that killed the dinosaur, the fucking dinosaurs. T-Rex's brother, whoever, think on that. That's not entirely true, but I kinda see your point. Sex kills and the seas are full of sharks. This world fucking sucks. Not if you're a shark. To becoming sharks then. To becoming sharks. We probably should have washed our hands before we did all that. She's at it again. No, that was Rachel. Rachel? No! No, this did not What? What happened? <laughs> My last... She's just... <laughs> Wake up, Lily. Wake up, Lily. Wake up. Get the adrenaline! working anymore. So it's sugar and then caffeine and then cigarettes and now the hard fucking drugs aren't even fucking working. You don't know that, Rachel. Yes, we do. Tell me you can't feel it. Tell me it's not getting worse. Just gotta up the dose. We gotta get more and we cannot run out. I mean, ninth grade. Can you guys just? Yeah. Please. Well, we'll take care of it. Just take a minute. Or... Yeah. Thanks. This is a waste of time. Well, what else are we doing right now? Should we say something? 
Right in red? Maybe a moment of silence would be best. Well, on the bright side, we don't have to worry about having sex anymore. <laughs> Says who? Come on, I'm just fucking with you, man. The backpack. It's gone! Fucking Vince, that was all we had left! Come on, Jake, we're never gonna catch her. We gotta go to a pharmacy. Before the house, we were in her fucking car. What were we doing? Who gives a shit? I can barely remember an hour ago. An hour ago, you were staring at tits! Fucking think! All right, all right! Um, uh, fireworks! What else? Fireworks! Oh, Glen Peak! I was driving. Yeah, I think you were. Hold on. You wanna tell me where we're going? Man's gotta know his limitations. You know who said that? Dirty fucking Harry. What does that even mean? I never filled the gas tank and I sure as fuck didn't fill it before Glen Peak. So, the only fucking gas station in town. I'm not gonna question it, but you need to go faster! Tell me to stay away. You didn't stay away from me, Meg. I'm not your sister. What a mean thing to say. Dinosaur comedy should have been just fine. Oh, the dinosaur comet kind of looks like an airplane. I'm trying to focus here, so if you could shut the hell up, that would be great. Okay. I'm gonna try to ram her off the road. Was I just hallucinating a second ago? Yeah. Am I hallucinating now? I don't know. Did you just stab me with a screwdriver before a plane hit our car? Yeah, I think that part was real, yeah. Okay. Hello? Are you all right? 
a bitch. Well, congratulations, you grounded her. Fairly certain we had the right away. Oh, that's real funny. That's top notch. Look, we're sorry. We're, we're crashing pretty hard, so if you have any spare drugs or anything, that'd be, be great, you know, just short term. I've been to eight cities in three days. I haven't seen anyone your age since the first. I guess that's worth something. It's not gonna buy you much time, kid. It'll buy us enough, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for the patches. You just saved our lives. Well, you probably just doomed everyone else's. It's a bit dramatic. So, uh, listen, uh, uh, I don't suppose you, uh, I don't suppose you saw any pharmacies while you were up there, huh? What? Come on, we're good guys. We just, somebody stole our drugs. It's like your car still works. Yeah, seems that way. There's a hospital on this map. There's not a hospital where the map says. Makes sense. How you figure? You see, this used to be St. Sebastian's, but it closed like a year ago. I mean, it was replaced by the medical center near downtown. You can get us there. Oh, yeah, I've definitely been dumping there a couple times in my day. Hey! If we take you there, you have to help us find a pharmacy. That's the deal. It won't be necessary. And why the hell not? Because hospitals have pharmacies. <sighs> Dumbass. Oh. Is that your dad? Are you serious? You sure you should be with him, kid? I think he's an addict. Look, I'm pretty sure we're all addicts now. Uh, my name's Sam, by the way. Ellis. Captain on occasion. I think it's more of the occasion for Ellis. You're right. Hey, you said there weren't any other kids in any other cities. Not since Newark, no. That doesn't mean they're not out there. It just means I haven't seen them. Seen plenty of people, though. We're still kicking. <sighs> Holy shit, I think I just pissed out my entire liver. Oh, I can't wait to do it again in five minutes. Well, you should see the back of my plane. I must have filled four milk jugs on the flight over. I tell you, some scavenger will get a real rude awakening. He's thirsting for lemonade. Is ironic the word? Word for what? Like, the fact that mankind is literally pissing away his last days. That would be the word. But we don't have to piss it away. Somewhere out there, there's an answer for this. We just have to find it. While continuing to piss all the time, it's not mutually exclusive. <laughs> Pissing is somewhat unavoidable in the short term. You guys go find your pharmacy. I'll be in the ICU if it strikes you. Long day. Yeah, it's just getting started.
some assholes already raided the pharmacy. I'm your asshole. Sorry, what? I'm the asshole that raided the pharmacy. Singular. I'm also a single asshole. <laughs> uh, I'm Allie. You want me to take a look at that? Uh, sure, then that'd be great, Doc. And, and any uh, pick-me-ups would be greatly appreciated. We've got just the thing. Come on. Follow me. It's adrenaline. Well, saline, too, and a bunch of other stuff we probably shouldn't mix, but more bang for your buck than anything you can inject or snort. Don't touch it. 38 times the legal dose. Anything more in your heart is gonna pop like a balloon. Noted, thanks. Hey, how's yours holding up over there? Is hey, your son? Don't know. It was too cheap to get the test results. Kidding, no. Hey, what are you gonna be, Sam? No. Uh, indispensable? There it is. Look, I know this is probably a dumb question, but you're not actually in operating hospital, right? I mean, not anymore. No. No, what you see is what remained of the last night shift ever to work here. Well, those of us who decide to stay, at least. You know, I thought we could just put our heads together and try and figure this thing out. What do you got so far? Jack and, uh, shit. <laughs> but we're alive, right? All right, let's get you back to your friend. You made it. Okay, here's the rest. Hi, Sarah. You guys mind telling me what you're up to with all of this? Hi, Jake. Good question. What are we up to with all of this? These four are missing times of death. They're the same as all the rest. You sure? Down to the minute. Yes, I'm sure. I wrote them, and past a certain point, it really wasn't worth writing anymore. So Christopher Manning, Alicia Townsend, Matthew Allman, and Thank you. Rich. Thank you for reading their names aloud. I was really hoping to see the faces of my dead patients again. <sighs> okay. Look. I was piloting the red eye from LA to Newark. Big sleep hit somewhere, somewhere over Colorado. I can't be exactly sure where, but Boulder, maybe. We had a doctor in first class. Good man, tried his best. But he couldn't save him, as you know. Couldn't save my co-pilot either. We make an emergency landing in Denver, along with a few others. Onboard doctor records time of death as they do. Instantaneous, he says. 3.04 a.m. Adjusting for time zone. Now, Denver's a shitstorm. Hospitals overrun, network shut down, mass hysteria. So we decide to press on to Newark. I want to get home, so do my passengers. Newark's not any better but it's good enough that I can get a coroner to take a look at the bodies. So I hand them over, sign a few forms, and I'm on my way. Social media, 24-hour news, they're sounding the alarm. Only good thing come out of that, if you ask me. And they're all talking about people dying in their beds. And what time do they say it all started? 3 a.m. or around. 3 a.m. at least. Same here. See? And in that one little word, they missed everything. Because it wasn't around something or about something. It was exactly 304. But it wasn't that either. I remember the time that the coroner 
reported for the victims in Newark. And what time was that? 3.06. So people died at slightly different times. So what? So I decided to fly back towards Denver. Short flights, just to test it there. Land, check the times of death in a hospital. And in every city, it's just the slightest difference. Just a small little dip in the time. DC, 305. Nashville, 304. 3, 302, now here, 301. So somewhere in between here and Denver. Is the point of origin. Exactly. The earliest time that we can come up with is in between here and Denver. So this death pulse or whatever it is, it's leading me right to it. OK, but, but what is it? <laughs> I mean, what exactly are you expecting to find between here and Denver? Sleep became lethal at a global scale in a matter of seconds. And nobody, not doctors, not scientists, not anyone, has a fucking clue why. <sighs> what? <sighs> what do you think? Uh, it's a. Uh... Some kind of glitch in our evolutionary trajectory. Biological terrorism. Alien warfare. <laughs> Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if we arrived at your point of origin and we found the foot of God just stomping out his creation. Because that is the only explanation left. I don't have an answer, but I do have a direction. And that direction is west. Anyway, I've wasted enough time here. I'm on the road. Wait. We want to come with you. Look, I've traveled all throughout the Southwest. Texas, Oklahoma, you name it. I can get you around. Both of them. Yep. Always. We come in pairs. Safer that way. Fine. All right. OK, I'm going to go grab supplies and tell Jen that we're leaving. Yeah, hey, don't tell her why, OK? We'll radio him if we find anything. Hurry up. We still have to get actual transportation. The plane is busted. Hey, wait. Speak of the devil. We're going. No, we're fucking not. Jake, shut up. We're going. What is the fucking point? We almost died today. No, we've got to be safer, smarter, all right? Just need to adapt. Just a couple more days, like sharks, remember? Our bodies will sort out the rest. In a few days, your body is going to die. How the shit do you know? Medical school? Look, the body cannot survive without sleep. Right now, you have an expiration date. We all have an expiration date, 10, 11 days max. After that, you can pop every pill on the planet, but your body is going to shut down. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Come on, Jake. A man's got to know his limitations. Do you know who said that? Of course I do. Who? Dirty Harry. Dirty fucking Harry. Yeah, OK. All right. All I know is someone's got to do something. Or else this blueberry muffin is going to outlast the entire human race. I'm not going to let that happen. Jake? Yeah? I'm scared again. 
That's just cause you're starting to think you might actually live through this. But I'm scared too. So much for becoming sharks, right? It's fine. I think I'd like to go back to being a person anyway. Yeah, me too. All right, you little bastard. Let's go find an answer. <laughs>